Good morning, friends. Greetings. And welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, nutritional supplementation, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, we are here for you. We welcome your calls. We want to be your go-to source for good nutritional and good health information. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. This is a program where I want you to know how the body works. I want you to know why things happen in the body. This isn't about just telling you what supplements to take. There's plenty of shows where I'll tell you what supplements to take. On this program, we tell you how everything works. I want you to know how everything works so you can take care of yourself. So you can doctor yourself, be your own doctor, be your own health authority by understanding how this thing, this incredible, miraculous thing called the human body works as best as we can because there's so many things about the body that are just, uh, as we used to say in pharmacy school, OGK, only God knows. Not even, not even so much about the body, but about the cell and how that is put together. We really don't have to do much for the body. The body is pretty much running on its own. It's pretty much self-contained. It needs nutrition, certainly. It needs nourishment in the form of the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. It needs some calories and it needs water and it needs some sugar. And uh, it needs to have a, a clean place to do its business. And it needs oxygen. And that's pretty much it. We live in a self-contained human body. And it doesn't make mistakes, folks. We get this idea that the body screws up. What we call disease is really the body attempting to protect itself. And this is why inflammation, which is the quintessential defensive or protective response, inflammation is an airbag going off in your, in your body, your body vehicle. It, it's a protective response. We all know what inflammation is when it looks big, when we get a swollen ankle, if we tw uh, sprain our ankle or we break a bone. We know what, what, what uh, macro or large scale inflammation looks like. It's puffy, it's swollen, it's warm to the touch. It can be painful. They used to say in uh, medical school, they say dolor, color, rubor, tumor. Those are the four phases of inflammation. Dolor means pain, color means heat, rubor means redness, tumor means uh, swelling. Those are the hallmark signs of inflammation. Dolor, color, rubor, tumor. Pain, redness, swelling, and, uh, and heat. It happens on a microscopic level too, microinflammation, and it's always at the core of disease. This protective response is at the core of disease. In other words, disease is a protective response. Disease is the way the body handles a problem. Disease it does not need to be suppressed, it needs to be understood. Inflammation should not be suppressed, it needs to be understood. This short-sighted and somewhat biochemically ignorant medical model, which has, by the way, presided over the worst disease crisis in the history of mankind, is focused on anti-inflammation, maybe even obsessed with anti-inflammation and inflammation. Completely oblivious to the fact that the inflammatory process, except an emergency, should not be suppressed, but 
addressed, not suppressed, but rather addressed, as in what the heck is causing it. Do you know life expectancy? Yesterday, uh, uh, the Center for Disease Control announced that life expectancy dropped for the first time since 1999. 2015, life expectancy at birth was 78.8 years. Uh, in 2014, it was 78.9 years. Doesn't seem like a lot, but the point is we're going in the wrong direction, folks. The medical model has presided over life expectancy decreases in a chronic degenerative disease crisis that is epic in the history of mankind. It never before occurred in the history of mankind, this kind of disease, this kind of uh, a chronic degenerative disease crisis. And we got more doctors. It ain't. It's not because we don't have enough doctoring. We got plenty of that. And it's not because we don't have enough drugs. We got plenty of those. The body doesn't make mistakes. The body doesn't make mistakes. Disease is not some kind of error. It's not a, some kind of biological screw-up that requires Dr. Superman to come in and fix. Disease is not supposed to be destroyed. It's supposed to be addressed. And this is why Dr. Superman can do nothing to cure chronic degenerative disease. He admits it. The medical model, and I don't mean to pick on doctors, it's the medical model. The medical model admits that chronic disease is incurable, and they don't like anyone saying that word cure. Nobody gets to say the word cure. Chronic disease is incurable. If you say the word cure, you can go to jail if, you are, uh, if you're licensed as a healthcare professional. And you know what? Dr. Superman is right. There is no cure because disease isn't cured. You can't cure a disease. Disease is, first of all, there's no such thing as disease. It's a process. It's a verb. It's an action. We don't have diabetes. We're diabetesing. We don't have uh, uh, autoimmune disease. We have autoimmune diseasing. It's a verb. That means it could be reversed, not cured, reversed. See the distinction? Subtle but real. It isn't cured. It's reversed. The reversal process begins instantaneously. That is so cool. The reversal process begins instantly, as soon as the offending agent is removed. If you're smoking cigarettes, when you stop smoking that cigarette, even if it's between cigarettes, your tissue starts to heal and starts to recover and starts to protect itself. So yes, disease cannot be cured because it's not a thing. It's a verb and it's a protective verb. It's, one, it's the way the body protects itself. The body's not going to let him. The body will not let the doctor cure because it needs to be, fi it's, it's fixing itself. Whether it's fever or whether it's fibrosis, these are fixing mechanisms. These are, it's all fixing biochemistry. It does not lend itself to cure. It lends itself to getting knocked out or suppressed. And that's what drugs do. They suppress fibrosis, they suppress fever, but fever and fibrosis are correct, uh, corrective responses. They're correct responses. They're the way the body's supposed to work. Last program, we've talked about the relationship between connective tissue and water. If you are breaking down, it's your connective tissue breaking down. Connective tissue equals structure. Connective tissue equals structure. So if your body's breaking down, whether it's your heart or your bones or your joints or your brain or any other part of the body, it's a connective tissue problem. And I know we talked, we've been talking about this for a long time, but really you can't have a health show without talking about the connective tissue. I'm just focusing on it. If you're not, fo if you're not emphasizing the connective tissue when you're talking about health, you're missing the, the, the core element to the breakdown process. Last program, we talked about the relationship between connective tissue and water. Connective tissue organizes water. It makes water more effective. Scientists call this water bound water or structured water. Structured water and bound water is the reason you can't fix your dry skin by drinking more water. This is a myth that I hear all the time. I hear skincare professionals, I hear dermatologists, I hear people who should know better saying, drink more water if you have dry skin. Wrong, false. Nobody will ever have their dry skin improved by drinking more water because it's not necessarily water by itself that makes your skin hydrated or that hydrates your tissue. It's bound water, it's structured water and structured water requires connective tissue. So fix your connective tissue if you have dry skin, is what I'm saying. Fix your connective tissue if you have any problem. The blood, for example, is mostly water. What do you think the connective tissue is going to do to the blood if we know that the connective tissue organizes water? It's very fascinating, actually. And we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Got lines open for you. Got all 
All our lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Now's the time to call. If you uh, haven't been able to get uh, on, uh, get, uh, get in on previous Brightside programs, now's the time. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also call the phone team, 866-735-2470, and 866-735-2470 is their number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. Retinol is a critical element in the construction, in the production of connective tissue in the skin. Yes, the skin underneath the skin, in the dermis, the lower levels of the skin, not the surface of the skin, but the deeper layers of the skin, you have connective tissue making cells called fibroblasts. They make fibers, hence the name fibroblast. Blast is Latin for to germ, to sprout. The fibroblast sprouts fibers, connective tissue fibers, and it's these connective tissue fibers in the skin that make the skin healthy. What we call aging of the skin is really a connective tissue problem. Even dry skin is a connective tissue problem. Let me say that again. Even dry skin, thinning skin, problem skin is a connective tissue problem. And you can smear all the moisturizer you want on top of the skin, but it's not going to help if it's not growing connective tissue. There's a major relationship between water and connective tissue in the body. Connective tissue ties water up. It locks water up. It binds the water. They call it bound water. The blood is mostly water. When it passes through the blood vessels, which are connective tissue, there's going to be a structuring of that blood, which is why connective tissue building supplements, or one of the reasons anyway, why connective tissue building supplements help thin the blood, like glucosamine helps thin the blood. The connective tissue structures the water, and that does something very fascinating. Structured water flows. When the water is structured and organized like a crystal, literally it's called a liquid crystal, or it's called crystal water. Crystal just means structure. What we call crystal, when most of us think of a crystal, we think of crystal rocks like gems. And those crystal rocks are really get their crystalline quality from the structure, from their micro, not microscopic, sub-microscopic atomic structure, quantum structure. The same thing happens with water as it passes through the connective tissue. It becomes a crystal. And this is, does some really interesting things at the very tiniest of tiny levels, the quantum level. It promotes flow. And this is how, the, this is how blood flows through the tubes. This is how blood flows through, through the circulatory system. We get this idea that it's the heart. You know what? Maybe the heart is involved a little bit, but there are scientists now who are pointing out that it may not be the heart for several reasons. It may actually be a kind of movement that's being encouraged by the reaction of connective tissue and water, or connective tissue and blood, which is why you want to make sure you're working on your connective tissue, building your connective tissue, supporting the production of connective tissue, and there's lots of ways you could do that. Bone soup. Bone, this is one of the reasons why bone soup is good for so many different things. This is why bone broth protein can be good for so many different things. And by the way, you can find bone broth protein at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. This is why glucosamine and vitamin C and essential fats and laying off of sugar and uh, using nutrients that help your body process sugar, using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, using the uh, 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 niacin, the ultimate niacin, using thiamine, chromium, vanadium, the sweeties, magnesium, taurine, arginine. These are all strategies for building connective tissue. Exercise is one of the greatest ways you can build connective tissue. The connective tissue absorbs energy. In fact, just pressure energy can be absorbed by the connective tissue, and you can stimulate the production of connective tissue growth with body work, as body workers have been telling us for years. And they're right. Collagen absorbs pressure energy. Remember, collagen is this amazing, amazing stuff, and I'm using connective tissue and collagen synonymously, although properly, technically, connective tissue is more than collagen, but the vast majority of it is collagen. 
it gets much of its uh, many of its properties its its strength and resilience and and uh, supports support qualities from collagen it also gets its electrical qualities from collagen too and you thought collagen was just for wrinkles no collagen is arguably the most important structural element the most important element in the body it may be the most important substance in the body cholesterol is in the argument Cholesterol is also super duper important, as you know, if you've listened to this program. So building collagen is not just important for your face or your skin. It's important for everything. Collagen structures water. Blood is mostly water. This is why anything you do to build collagen is going to improve the circulation of your blood. And by the way, gelatin works. Gelatin is collagen. And also the Fucoid Z works. This is another reason why the Fucoid Z, like bone broth and bone broth protein, are multifunctional. Because they're working with the connective tissue, and the connective tissue affects everything. So the flow of the blood, the flow of the liquid, is largely dependent on the connective tissue. Tell that to your cardiologist, who's probably, like most people, laboring under the, the misunderstanding and the dogma that it's the heart that does the pumping. The connective tissue allows us to move, not just our blood to move, not, not just our fluids to move. It allows us to move. It allows us, the connective tissue, the collagen, allows us to navigate the force of gravity. That's one of its major roles. Major roles, the connective tissue. Yes, it works internally, microscopically, but it, maybe its major role, certainly one of its major roles, is to help us adjust to gravity. Aging is a gravity issue. Connective tissue allows us to adjust to gravity. This is why building connective tissue is wonderfully anti-aging. The visible signs of aging, whether they're the stooping over, uh, the, the uh, stooping over kind of appearance, the stooped appearance, I should say, whether it's wrinkles, whether it's osteoporosis, the visible signs of aging, thinning of the of the skin, thinning of the bones, the uh, not just the visible signs of aging, all of the signs of aging are connective tissue related. When we get older, we lose our shape. That's a connective tissue problem. That's basically what the difference between an older person and a younger person is. They're losing their, their, their uh, straight lines. When we're younger, we get straight lines. Those straight lines are a function of connective tissue. When we're older, all those straight lines kind of mush up and we lose our shape. That's what an older person looks like, we lose our shape. You don't want to lose your shape? Build connective tissue. Of course, you were, we're going to go get facelifts because what's happening is our connective tissue is degrading, and the only thing we know to do is to have a surgical procedure done because that's what we're told. I talked to a gal yesterday on the phone. This was so heartbreaking. She had fibro uh, endometriosis, and she didn't know what to do. And the doctors were giving her all kinds of drugs, and they wanted to take her uterus out. This poor woman was in tears, and I, we've talked about endometriosis in the past. Classic connective tissue problem. And she said to me, I've tried everything. I've done everything. Listen, if you think you've tried everything, you have now shut off all your possibilities. But if you listen to this program and you understand that fibrosis and endometriosis and polyps and, and growths are just the body working to protect itself, now you've got some, uh, some, uh, some strategies that you can start to, uh, start to utilize to reverse the process. If you think you've tried everything, you've shut off all your possibilities. I'm telling you, folks, if you're dealing with any long-term chronic illness, it is 100% reversible. 100%. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side, and we do have lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get your calls here in just a sec. Got a couple cool stories. Uh, let's see here. New discovery at the heart of healthy cereals. Hmm, healthy cereals. Well, sounds like an oxymoron right there. I shouldn't say that. Cereal, you know, cereals get a bad rap, but there are definitely good nutri nutrients that you'll find in cereal grains. B vitamins, zinc, fiber, 
protein. There are lots of good nutrients in grains. Magnesium, I'm not, you know, we beat up on grains a lot. And the reason we do is because grains are nature's seeds and seeds don't want to be eaten. So there are anti-nutrients in grains. But that's not to say that you can't get any nutritional value from grains. One of the most powerful nutrients that you'll find in grains is something called beta-glucan, which we have talked about a lot on this program. Beta-glucan is available in the Restart Your Life products from Longevity. Beta-glucan has got anti-cancer properties, immune-boosting properties, and anti-cholesterol-lowering uh, properties. Beta-glucan does, and this is a study that talks about just that, lowering cholesterol. Uh, a new discovery from the University of Queensland could help reduce heart disease and boost nutrition. Nutrition security, I'm not sure what that means. Nutrition security, uh, the access to balanced nourishment. They're calling that nutrition security. That's kind of interesting. Uh, apparently, beta-glucan has a positive impact on cholesterol levels. Well, we know that. All fibers have a positive effect on cholesterol levels, uh, beta-glucan being a type of fiber. And getting more fiber in your diet is a really good idea. That's one of the neat benefits of vegetable juices is not only do you get the phyto, that is plant nutrients and veggies when you vegetable juice, but you also get the fiber if you do it correctly. That is, if you use a Vitamix or a Nutribullet, you'll get the fiber. And that fiber is incredibly valuable for digestive health. The fiber is a substrate or a meal for good bacteria. The fiber acts like a prebiotic, and when bacteria eat that fiber, they release wonderful compounds that improve your mood, that fight cancer, that support immunity, that shut down your appetite, that help your body process energy more effectively. The combination of fiber and probiotics or good bacteria, bacteria that live in the gut, is incredibly important for health. It's also important for the metabolism or the processing of estrogen. Autoimmune disease affects way more women than men, and largely because of the estrogen component. And it's not just estrogen. It's not just plain estrogen. It's the breakdown products of estrogen, and these breakdown products are a result of good bacteria and fiber. And the, uh, in, uh, I should say processing of these uh, breakdown products is a function of good bacteria and fiber. So use your veggie juices, use fermented juices, grind up flax seeds. You can get a coffee grinder and grind up flax seeds or grind up pumpkin seeds or grind up sunflower seeds or grind up all three and sprinkle it in your smoothies. Great way to get fiber. All right, so let's see what else. Uh, how gut microbes help chemotherapy drugs. That's interesting. Probiotics support chemotherapy. Good nutrition supports chemotherapy. God forbid you have cancer and you're doing chemotherapy. A good nutritional supplement program will help your, uh, will make the chemotherapy more effective. It will help the chemotherapy if you decide you want to go the chemotherapeutic route. Good nutrition supports chemotherapy, and it also reduces the side effects of chemotherapy. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Gary in Minnesota. Good morning, Gary. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, Gary, Ben. What's going Hello. on, my man? Yes, sir. Doing How can good. we help you? Honored to talk to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Honored to talk to you as well. What's going on? Okay. Um, I, I want to just take 30 seconds to paint a picture. I'm B70 in, in May. I've been a health a humble health guru my whole life. I got like 53 pulse rate. I've never taken a pill in my life. I've nice. Never, take, uh, never had a surgery. I never even had tonsils nice. out. I how, how old are you? Did you did I muscular. I work out. I do. Gary, but Gary, stop. I've been stop. doing this since the 60s. Gary, did you say you're 70, 70? I'll be 70 in May. God bless you, my friend. That is awesome. I just got 76 my last round of golf. So I'm that not is really good awesome. Day. Oh, I love it. I love I it. I mean, I'm off the charts. Okay, I go to Dennis. They tell me don't come back for a year. Okay. So what's going on? Oh, so I'm painting the picture, but I got an issue. Okay. Go to the eye doctor. Three, four years ago, they tell me I have the healthiest eyes they've ever seen in their life. I go back about a year ago. And I have high eye pressure. Okay. I have 20-20 vision in my left eye, 25-20 in my right eye. I have okay. an extra thick cornea, which is good for eye pressure. And my optic nerve is extru unbelievably healthy, but I have high eye pressure. I according to this. So according to the. I recently start taking drops. Well, hang on, Gary. Hang on. Gary, stop for a second, okay? Uh, who says you have high eye pressure? My eye doctor. The one guy says that, right? Two. Two people have said that? Yes. And, and they both said it was a significant problem? 
It doesn't mean well, it's a significant problem. You may have an increase in pressure, yes. And but when they say increase in pressure, pressure, what's that? I, I don't know the numbers on eye pressure to tell you the truth, but we'll just go with the concept, okay? So, uh, so you have high eye pressure. I don't know that that's necessarily the case, and if it is the case, I don't know that it's necessarily a problem. I don't like treating numbers, Gary. I feel uncomfortable treating numbers, especially with drugs. You know, if you want to, if you want to treat the numbers with meditation, or you want to treat the numbers with exercise, or you want to treat the numbers with dietary changes or supplements, something non-toxic. Well, hang on, let me finish, Gary. If go you ahead. want to treat the numbers with something non-toxic, if you want, if you want to go ahead and treat your numbers with nutrition or exercise, something like that, that's one yeah, thing. Absolutely. Okay. Well, hang on, Gary. Let me finish, okay? So I don't believe in treating numbers. I don't like the idea of treating numbers. I like treating symptoms. Okay. The tr idea of treating numbers is this newfangled idea medicine that says that we can reduce or eliminate or prevent disease by treating the numbers ahead of time. I'm not buying that. Wow. Because that lends itself to drugging people who are healthy. That lends itself wow. to cutting organs out from people who are healthy. Follow me, Gary? There are people who remove yeah. their breasts because of numbers. There are people who remove their uterus because of numbers. There are people who are put on drugs because of numbers. I don't like that idea. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want yeah. to treat your numbers in generally with a non-toxic uh, strategy like exercise, that's one thing. But to treat your numbers with a drug, I, I have a problem with that. All right? Especially if you're completely healthy. Now, yeah, so you know, that, that's, there you go. We don't know. What are the numbers really? The numbers are based on statistics. They take about 1,000 people. This is how they do the numbers. Okay? They take a certain group of people that they determine to be a nice broad spe uh, to cover all your, peop you know, all your various types of human beings. They've got some black people, some white people, some Chinese people, some old people, some young people. They put them all together and they, assume, they, they do some statistical analysis to make sure that that group of people is representative of, nor uh, of what people are like in the real world. Okay? More statistics. And then they do some assessment and see who's got the diseases and who's got the numbers and they do their little mumbo jumbo statistics and they come up with reference ranges and then they put Gary in there as a reference right. uh, compared to the reference range this is problematic to me again if you're going to use your number information to, uh, to work out or to supplement that's one thing but to use that number information which are nothing really nothing more than statistics high and low and reference ranges and normal and not normal and, uh, there's no normal what if you're an outlier Gary what if you're on the other end of the uh, on the side of the curve where you just happen to have high pressure. Okay? Who's to say? I don't know. But I certainly know that the drug is toxic. Now, they're giving you an eye drop. Or what are they giving you, Gary? Taking one eye drop in my left eye, and I hate right, it. So the, the eye drop is... the pharmaceutical thing I've ever done in my life, and I hate doing it. Well, the eye drop isn't as bad as, as a systemic drug, but it's still forcing the body, compelling the body to do something it doesn't want to do. Let's talk about eye pressure when we come back from our break, okay? Because that's an, that's an interesting subject right there. Hang on, Gary. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after... We are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're in Minnesota talking to Gary about glaucoma or eye pressure issues. I don't know if they've been diagnosed. They didn't diagnose you with glaucoma, did they? Well, I had a little disagreement with him. I said, why is it glaucoma? I have eye, eye pressure. He says, well, you've got 50-some number. That's glaucoma. I said, well, uh, okay. maybe, maybe not. All right. Good thinking. You're on the right track, Gary. Here's the deal. You have a little valve I just in your... I say one thing, though. I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Fighting numbers on glucose and all the other things is a different game. This one here, if, if the eye pressure takes yeah. over and does damage to the optic nerve... Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Right and you can never get it back. No, no, I get you it's on that. that's what you lose. I 100% get you, but we don't know necessarily that that's an issue for you. Okay, they're going the by... I don't like, but go ahead. Okay, 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 you're right, and I understand. That's why I said, that's why I said the top, the eye drops, the eye drops in your particular case are not the end of the world. What are they giving you, by the way? I got it right here. Hang on one second. Gary? All right, Gary, listen, I'm, let, me just, let me just explain. I don't know what happened to Gary, but let's talk it's a little bit. Called, about, it is called uh, Lumigan. Okay, so Lumigan. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So it's not, Lumigan is not the end of the world. There's worse drugs than, than Lumigan. Uh, Lumigan is a type of prostaglandin sort of drug. Uh, okay. You may get, did, does it burn your eyes or anything? Basically, it's one of the more mild I've ones. I've been doing fine with it. I got one little red spot in the corner. It's not the end of the no world. Problem. 
it's not the end of the world to use a glaucoma medication. I'd be more concerned with your general health and well-being and using strategies that would protect your, that would protect the pressure naturally or protect the eye naturally. But you got to understand what glaucoma is. Do you know what it is? When you say eye pressure, we know it's a high, increased eye pressure. But do you understand how that happens, Gary? Well, the only thing I understand is just that uh, you have okay. high eye pressure and that okay. can damage your optic well, why ha- But let me ask you something. In a, in a body that's perfect, in a body that's perfect, why would you have eye pressure? What would be, so what's, what's going on? What's the mechanism? This is what we have to understand. I don't know. Maybe, well, I'm gonna tell you. maybe, that per- maybe it's no. nothing. I'm going to tell you the mechanism because that's what counts, not okay. the symptom. I'm listening. Okay, not the symptom. The glaucoma, the eye pressure is called a symptom. That's not the problem. The problem is not the symptom. The problem is the cause of the symptom. Okay, now, in the case of the eyes, it's not the end of the world to use an eye drop. But I'm talking about generally speaking, we've got to make this distinction between causes and symptoms. The cause of eye pressure, increased eye pressure, is a degeneration of the valve that releases the pressure. You have a valve in your eye. You understand it? That, that reduces the pressure. It's a natural, it's a, it's a, 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 a normal mechanism for dropping eye pressure when the pressure goes high. The valve releases the pressure. Your valve is damaged. If that's, it sounds like you, you have significant pressure, your valve is damaged. This is understandable because the valve is very tiny and very easily damaged, especially by sugar. And this is why glaucoma and diabetes go hand in hand. But you don't have to be officially a diabetic to have this problem. I'd be working on your blood sugar first. At the age age of 70, you don't, Gary, Gary, stop, stop, Gary, I'm going to put you on hold, and you got to let me finish, dude, all right, it doesn't matter what your number is, it doesn't matter what your number is, let me say it again, it doesn't matter what your number is, it matters the symptom, you follow me, Gary? 81, okay. 181, you got a symptom, you got a, there's, a, there's something going on there, it doesn't matter if it's 81, okay? So we, first we work on the cause of the damage to the valve. The cause of the damage to the valve is biochemical. Biochemistry comes in through the blood. The problem is in the blood. The blood becomes toxic from sugar, and it also becomes toxic from living, but largely because of how we eat, it comes in from sugar. Now, you may also have some digestive issues that are involved, other things, you've got to look for other symptoms. But the first thing to focus on when you have problems with eye pressure is blood sugar. All right? That means getting on the sweeties. That means looking at what you're eating. It doesn't matter that you're an 81. And by the way, Gary, nobody just has an eye pressure problem. So you got to look for other symptoms. I know you're lifting weights and you sound great. You sound like you get the, the litany of, uh, of, of, of health, uh, of signs of health that you listed are great. It's very impressive. But nobody just has an eye pressure problem. There's other things going on. And you have to become, you have to become sensitively sharp. You have, to, you have to start to notice symptoms. It may be that you feel great and that's awesome, but there's little symptoms in there that have to be there because... Once the body starts to break down, it doesn't just break down in one place. It breaks down as a system because the body's a system. You follow me, Gary? Okay. So I'm not disputing your, all the wonderful ways that you're healthy with your teeth and with your muscles and your six-pack. You didn't say six-pack, but whatever it is that you have, I'm not disputing that. But if you have a problem with pressure, that means there's a problem with the valve. That means there's going to be problems somewhere else. And you want to start to put together a list. I call this triangulation. You ever hear that term, triangulation? you got to have at least three points to figure out what's going on in the body. I'm guessing that there's a blood sugar problem, but I only have one point. I need multiple points. You follow me, Gary? Does that make sense? Okay. You, you got to look, you, you got to put together multiple points. You got to collect the dots and then you got to connect the dots, but you got to collect them before you connect them. And so we only have one dot here. I can tell you that the most likely suspect is going to be sugar, but I need more dots. All right. But the most likely suspect is going to be sugar and the eye drops are not the end of the world. I want to motivate here, my friend. So focus on the sugar. See if you can get some more dots. If you send me an email, put your phone number in there, come up with a couple dots. You and I will work together if you like. All right. Um, when you say dots, I mean symptoms, uh, signs. I'm ta- and I'm not going to. I don't. I'm going to tell you a few, but I don't want you to say, "Oh, I don't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that." I'm no, just going to give you yeah, examples. Okay. I, I'm going to give you examples. Problems sleeping, uh, uh, bowel movement issues, gas, uh, headaches, uh, fatigue or, or depression, uh, blood pressure. These are just examples, but anything, anything. 
All right? You got to find I them because I, it, myself. I, I knew you were going to say that. That's why I, I warned you. I told you I don't want you to. I, all right, I'm going to okay. motivate Gary. You get the point, buddy. I, 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 it's, I, I, I'm going to go. I'm trying to figure out where to look. All right. You got to. I know. That's the trick. <laughs> that's the trick is you got to think. That's the trick. Be, but understand as a premise. This is called, by the way, deductive reasoning, where you start off with a premise and then you work your way down. So you start off with a premise. The body breaks down as a system. It doesn't just break down in one place. Do you buy that or don't you? I buy that. That's how it works in my experience. The body breaks down as a system. That's our theory. Now try to find out all the different places where your body's breaking down. We got one. All right? Usually it involves sugar, but until I have more points, I can't tell you definitively. God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything. Feel free to send me an email and put your phone number in there and I'll get back to you. David in Colorado, what's going on, buddy? David in Colorado. Do we have David here? Hey, hey, Dan, I'm here. How are you? Hey, what's going on, David? Good morning. Hey, man, good morning. Hey, great show. Please don't ever stop doing it. It's the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. My my wife's uh, doing all your true stuff. She loves it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, good deal. What is she using? What is she using all four of the products? She's she's got everything, and she loves them. Good deal. She's reordered. Yeah, she loves them. Hey, a couple of quick things. I know we're running out of time. Um, Yeah. If I wanted to uh, replicate uh, bone broth as closely as possible in a vegetarian form, I don't know mm. if you can rattle this off the top of your head. Can't do it, bro. Would I... okay. Mushrooms. Okay, what... Mushrooms are the closest. Mushrooms are a cross that. between. That's what you really got to focus on. Mushrooms are a cross between animal and vegetable. The fungus is the fungal kingdom is right between the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom, and so that's going to be your best bet. There's things in mushrooms that you can't find in ordinary, ordinary veggies, um, legumes. Maybe. Um, you're not doing any animal products, no eggs or anything like that? No, no. Yeah, vegetarian. So okay. Veg- vegetarian. okay, so yeah, if you can figure out a way to get eggs in there, uh, that would help, definitely. And in dairy would definitely help, too. Um, okay. Yeah, dairy and eggs would be animal products. If, you, if, you don't, if you're not fixed on vegan and you're vegetarian, then anything animal, like uh, dairy and eggs, will, will, be, will help you, eggs particularly, and, okay. and, and dairy, it. too. Okay? Okay. If, All right. If they had, like, you know... In a, like a supplement form, if I wanted to add like hyaluronic acid. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can make, add. Make you like can add. Supplement. Yeah, it won't taste that great, but you can throw in some hyaluronic <laughs> acid. Why don't you throw in? Uh, yeah, all that stuff is not really meant to be tasted, uh, but hyaluronic acid, like silica, lysine, silica, silica yeah, yeah, all your uh, cartilage amino acids, proline, hydroxyproline, if you could find those, lysine, glycine, glycine in particular, although that's sweet okay. and it might throw off the taste. All of these might throw off the taste, actually. All right. And don't forget okay. vitamin C. You can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. So anything that has vitamin C in it, and there's lots of veggies that have vitamin C in it, that will help you as well. Bell peppers in particular. All right? Okay. Got it. All right, man. Uh, got it. Got it. Uh, we, I'm out of time, David. I'm out of time, bro. I only got about 40 seconds. What do you, you want to ask something real quick? Break up some aspirin. Put it on a, on an internal fist. Any luck of that helping? So aspirin down. on a cyst? Yeah, on an internal That might help. Any, internal okay. cyst? Okay. Well, I don't yeah, want to... it's, it's in my hand. Um, taking aspirin may help as an anti-inflammatory. I'd, want, I'd be more concerned with why you have a cyst. David, i got to go, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. Call back on Monday. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.